In this very short video, I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix and I'm going to show you how the determinant of the matrix can be used to transform areas. So to start with, we're going to write out the matrix that we have, which is 2, 3, minus 2 and 1. I've written out this in pretty important format here and using this format, we can say that the inverse of this matrix after replacing A with 2, B with 3, C with minus 2 and D with 1, well, AD becomes the multiplication of 2 and 1, which is just 2. We take away from that the multiplications of B and C. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. And then inside of the matrix, we swap the positions of A and D, so it becomes 1 and 2 instead of 2, 1. And we multiply both B and C by minus 1. So 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 1, sorry, is positive 2. Well, 2 minus minus 6 is 2 plus 6, which is just 8. And then if you want to, you can multiply each of these individual parts of the matrix by an eighth. So one times an eighth is just one eighth. Two times an eighth is two eighths, which is one quarter, which applies the same to this bottom right term of the matrix. And then minus three times an eighth is just minus three eighths. That's the inverse of a two by two matrix. It turn, sorry, it then tells us the transformation associated with this matrix is applied to a figure which has an area of squ two square units. What's the area of the transformed figure? Well, to do this, we're first going to find the determinant of a matrix. Now, a matrix in the form A, B, C, D, to find its determinant, which I've represented by these two lines that kind of look like a modulus, is A times D minus B times C. So in this case, the modulus of our matrix 2, 3, minus 2, 1 is given by, well, 2 times 1 is 2, take away 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, which is 2 plus 6, which is 8. The determinant tells you how much larger the area would be after the transformation. So if you multiply the determinant by the previous area, that will give you the area of the transformed figure. In this case, that's a determinant of 8 multiplied by the previous area of 2. And 8 times 2 is 16, so that's your final answer for the area. Hopefully that all makes sense. Please be sure to like the video if it helped and subscribe. I'll post a lot more A-level further math content in the upcoming weeks. Thanks for watching your video. I hope it helped. If you have any tutoring inquiries for A-level further math, be sure to hit my website up at www.excelineducation.co.uk.